Hi everyone, I'm Somali Clark and I work as the Race Equality Programme Support Officer for the Hampshire and Isle of Wight ICS and I'm thrilled to have been invited to talk on the Rainbow Table Talk series. A little bit more about me, I identify as a bisexual, bipolar, mixed race, working class demigirl and it's okay if you don't know what that last one means. So a lot to unpack there I know. I'm also a friend, a niece and a daughter. So why is all of that important? Well, one element of intersectionality is self-identification. It's about seeing and finding all the parts of you that make you, you. Whether that's a mother, sister, father, disabled, partner, British, Catholic, atheist, the list goes on and on. But it doesn't just mean labels. It's about how you locate yourself in the world and how that relates or differs to others. Self-identification helps you locate yourself in the world and will in turn help identify your privilege and power. Audre Lorde was an American writer, feminist, womanist, librarian and civil rights activist. She was a self-described black, lesbian, mother, warrior, poet. She once said, there is no such thing as a single issue struggle because we do not live single issue lives. To me, that means when I suffer discrimination or oppression, it doesn't affect me just because I'm female, just because I'm mixed race, just because I'm bisexual. It's all of these things combined. This is called compound discrimination, and it's a lot more common than people may think. It's an everyday battle. When I walk down the street and someone looks at me, what do they see? Do they see a woman who has struggled with her gender identity? Do other LGBT plus people see me as bisexual? Do people with darker skin than me see me as a black woman? These are some of the questions that go through my head on a daily basis. Not only when I meet new people, but every time I interact with anyone whether it's a friend, colleague, healthcare professional. My ethnicity has been recorded as white when I've been admitted to hospital before, and no one understood why that really hurt me. Being of Jamaican heritage is a part of me, and to erase that is to erase a part of me and my journey. It erases the years of bullying and racism I've suffered and ignores the strength that I have developed. When I'm with a male partner, my bisexuality is erased. When people say, it was just a phase, it erases the homophobia I suffered when I was in a three-year relationship with a woman. And to erase that, erases me. My journey to finding out who I am is still ongoing and will continue to change as I navigate life. I've done a lot of reading by people who are similar to me and people with completely different outlooks on life. I'm fortunate enough to have a strong support group of friends around me who all welcome my exploration of self. Using an intersectional lens means learning about the history of the issues that people with multiple characteristics face, whether that be Stonewall riots, Section 28, the suffragette movement, or as recent as the Black Lives Matter movement. Through self-education, we can start to break the cycles of historic oppression. Before you go to Pride this year, learn about Marsha P. Johnson, a black trans sex worker who was there the night of the Stonewall riots. As you walk around, think about all the different people from all walks of life and all the parts of their identity that make them proud to be themselves. Talk to the people, the stall holders, the performers, the drag queens, the teenagers, the organisers. You'll find that Pride is not just a celebration of LGBT plus people, but a place for people to show their authentic whole selves to the world. As you walk around, especially if you're a cisgender heteronormative person, Please remember this quote by Fannie Lou Harmer, an American voting and women's rights activist. Nobody is free until everyone is free. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you all at Southampton Pride. <laughs>